Hi, and welcome to the Monshire Museum of Science. My name is Marcos Staffney, and I'm the Executive Director, and I'm happy to welcome you to Airworks, our brand new exhibition, where we ask the questions, what can air do, and what can you do with air? Now, what better way to start off an exhibition than with a giant fan? So if I had long flowing hair, I'd be able to stand right in front of this and maybe have my own Beyonce moment. But unfortunately, that's not gonna happen today. But I do have this really cool handkerchief, and the handkerchief, you can see, this big fan is really moving that air. Let's see what happens when I let it go. Oh, you can try this here at the exhibition. One of the really cool exhibits that we have here in the Airworks exhibition is this air tube experience. Now you can't probably see this on TV, but right here we've got a pipe that flows air up here and then we have a lot of balls that can just float magically in the air. Now with us to explain this a little bit more is our assistant director of exhibits and the lead exhibit developer and project manager for this experience, Sherlock Terry. So what are we looking at here? So we're looking at our air tubes exhibit and there's lots of different things you can do with this exhibit. Basically we have a lot of different parts for you to play around and make your own experiments with air. Well that didn't work. That didn't work. No, but why don't you try why don't you try this and you'll be able to we can construct a little ball shooter for you. Whoa! Oh where's the ball? There's another ball. And if we make the tube a little bit longer, uh, oh, we can oh. shoot it right up in the air. And so with this simple set of parts we have maybe you know, maybe 10 pieces here. You can do lots of different experiments. And let's say, shoot it back to you. Okay. So let's go check out the other exhibits in Airworks. <laughs> All right, Sherlock, what are we looking at here? <laughs> You're looking at our bottle music. So this is a musical instrument that we had made by an artist in Massachusetts. And what it does is it shows how air can make music, or how you can make music with air. So what's happening, you want to play us another little tune? Or? Oh, sure. We have a couple of, uh, oh, chopsticks. Yeah, how about chopsticks? <laughs> so as you press down on these balls, we're pressing air over the mouth of a bottle. And what we're trying to do with this instrument is make it the same way as if you were going to blow on top of a bottle. And okay. we've filled the different bottle, we filled the bottles with different amounts of um, resin, which, which what that does is it gives us different amounts of air in each bottle. And depending on how much air there is, that, that will create a different note. All right, so by pressing these things down, you can get different amounts of air blowing over that bottle. That's, or no, the air, well, the air is the same, but you have different amounts of air in the bottle. Okay. So what's happening is the amount of air inside of each bottle determines what the actual note is gonna be. All right. So we have these tuned to make one octave of a keyboard. So you can see that these are your white keys, in case you couldn't tell, and these are your black keys. Do you have a favorite song for the bottle music? Um, I, well, we've been trying to think of some air-related songs here. So here we've got Fly Me to the Moon. You want to give it a try? Sure. <laughs> All right, Sherlock, so we're here at the wind tube where you can create an object that will fly in the tube. So what are we, why are we trying to create an object to fly in a tube? Yeah, so here we've designed something that really gives you a way to make your own objects and really play around with your own ideas and your own designs. So we've made a, a bunch of materials, kind of cut them up to give you a starting point, and you can attach these materials to these little berry baskets okay. and see what you can do for your design. So here's one that we already made. You can try that, try that one out. Got it. All right, let's just try putting this in here. Whoa. Wow. <laughs> let's try just putting a piece of regular felt in there too. That there we go, flies right, right out the there. top. Right out the top. And then here you can use these things to make a different design if you'd like. And we can try, maybe we can try to attach two berry baskets together and see what happens. All right. So I guess you can do different challenges like making something that hovers in the middle of the tube. You can design something that spins like a, oh, or see if something can launch right out of the tube. And you're also learning about what shapes are going to get picked up by the air and um, learning about how much how much weight this this actual fan can push up. Well, 
so like here we are at our paper airplane station where you can build a paper airplane. We've got some great guides here like how to make the dart and how to make the glider. And you can do the old fashioned way of throwing a paper airplane, which is to, whoa, whoa that's pretty good. Uh, be able to try to get to that target and measure out how long it can go. But you can also use this really interesting contraption to help out. What are we looking at right here? So this is our airplane launcher. The nice thing about the launcher is it's gonna give you the same results every time. So you can test different designs. It's gonna throw it the same way every time. Okay. So you can test different designs in a scientific way to see how far they go, see what the differences are, and then make changes and improve your design. So we have a lot of smart visitors who come to the museum. This is a design I found in our recycling bin. Oh, great. So let's give it a try. All right, let's fire it up. So yeah, we start the, we start the motor running. Okay. Whoa. Not bad. Not bad, but not great. So we've got one more. We can also adjust the angle of this. All right. Can raise it up a little bit. Get higher. Oh, yeah! All close. right. All right, Sherlock, this has got to be one of the most fun exhibits we've ever had here at the Monshire. It's called Airways, and what do you do with it? So why don't you put something in this box right here, and let's see where it goes. There we go. <laughs> so part of the fun of this one is trying to figure out which path the object's going to take. So I'm going to change it on you here. Now let's see where it goes now. Right out the top. So this is a lot of fun. You can put things into this box right here, and you can change the direction of where those things are going by moving these two different things. Oh, I just did something right there. Yeah. Oh, there we go. So this is kind of like everything you always wanted to do at the bank drive through but weren't allowed to do. Uh-oh, it got stuck over there. So we can, there we go, clear the cloth, and we got this. Wow. Well, this is an amazing way to see how air is both fun and how it both works. So you can really get a sense of how the air is moving through these tubes to be able to push these objects, which doesn't seem like they'd be able to be lifted by air, but they're able to shoot all the way through this really crazy winding experience of tubes um, and then sort of have to figure out exactly where it's going to go. Yeah, and it's always surprising. It's really fun to see what happens. Thank you so much, Sherlock, for walking us through the Airworks exhibition. This is a recap. What can we do when we're walking through Airworks? Well, we can do so many things. We can make paper airplanes and launch them at a target. We can shoot things through a long series of tubes. We can get blown away by this fan over here. We can play with compressed air, make music with air and even make art with air. Wow, there's so many things that you can do. Now, if you want to visit the exhibition, all you need to do is come to the Monshire through September. We'll be here. But great news is this is part of our permanent collection now, so you'll be able to play with these air experiences and learn about the science of how air moves through all sorts of things for years to come. If you want to learn more, visit us on our website at www.monshire.org. We look forward to seeing you here at Airworks. <laughs>